So this here is going to be a video on how we converted up a defiler um, because they're currently out of print. Uh, you can't get them and after the COVID-19 issue, um, everything is back ordered and with the start of 9th edition, we wanted some defilers. So uh, we sort of built one up. We had a few parts of a defiler, uh, the claws and the legs from an eBay order we had, but we didn't have a chassis for it. So what we ended up doing was we kit bashed up uh, this one. Well, the first thing you'll notice is it's got parts of many different kits on it. Um, this is the skull face from the Chaos Rhino that you can usually use as a, as a decoration. We trimmed off the horns and added the um, horns that you find on the Chaos Standard from the old Space Marine kit. So we took the uh, horns off the top of this unit, modeled a little piece here, this bit, and added them there to make a uh, nice scary looking face. And then what we did was we took the turret from the top of a Storm uh, Raven, which we converted to a Storm Eagle. Uh, if you want to see that video, we'll link it above and we'll link it in the chat. But effectively, the Storm, the Storm Eagle didn't have a uh, turret on the top, so we had this kicking around for pro probably about a, a year now. So this was a perfect place to use it. We used a few of the rings from the Rhino to build it up a touch. And then instead of putting the um, turret guns on, what we did is we actually separated them off, glued them together, and we made our uh, twin linked auto cannon that we usually have on a defiler as a weapon, and it's magnetized, so we can take it or leave it as we need to. And we painted it up to match. Now the other thing we did was we used a uh, Mahler Fiend or a Forge Fiend um, plasma gun as a battle cannon, painting it all up with the plasma thing and uh, the teeth and so forth and so on, mounting it to the front and hiding it behind a a uh, Hellbrute uh, face shield piece here that goes above the the Hellbrute head, so that created some sort of a skin type fleshy bit that seems to hold on the chassis and then the only other problem we had was that the profile was a little bit low so the regular defiler looks like this and it's considerably bulkier up here than our uh, little turret was so in order to avoid being accused of uh, modeling for advantage what we did was we raised the height of our defiler as well by using these uh, flaming candelabras here uh, from the Chaos War Shrine from Age of Sigmar. So we had that kicking around from when we did our knight, uh, and I can link the description for the knight down below, but uh, we used the big plate on the front of the knight to make the, uh, from the Chaos War Shrine. So we do have some pieces left over. Uh, some of them we used for a Dark Apostle, uh, and the ax we used on our Terminators, but we still have these candelabras with the nice relics of our, our uh, chaos gods on it with the Nurgle and the Zeech. And on the back side, we have the corn and the Slanesh. So that's pretty much our new kit bashed up defiler. We do have a few weapons. We have our Scourge. We magnetized the end of it, not quite as nice as the original with the actual piece, but it'll do. And it'll stay on where we need to. We can also remove that and use the original twin linked flamer, which will snap on in place there, which will also fit our original defiler if needed, just like so. So we can use that on either or. And then we've got our auto cannon as well. So this is the likely way we'll run it with all the extra attacks from the Scourge as well as being able to shoot in combat. That seems to be the idea we'll use probably with the Lord Discordant. And we'll run that down with the plus one to hit and the minus one to shoot us as Alpha Legion. And we'll run that down and uh, see what kind of mess we can make on the table. So if you like this, if you like this video, mostly we've, we've made it just to give you some ideas on things you can do since some of these units are sold out at the moment. 
So it does look a little bit beastly. Uh, I think we like it and it'll definitely look nice on the table. So if you like something like this and you think it looks good, then just take whatever ideas you like, feel free. And otherwise than that, we will uh, see you at the next video. Leave a comment if you like. Um, if you think of anything's here, if you think of anything we could have did or anything yourself um, that you want to do on any of your models, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, like the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it'd be really, really great. And otherwise than that, stay tuned because I think what we're going to do next is change this guy because I really don't like this model. And I think we're going to try to turn it more into something that looks like this guy here uh, by moving some of the pieces around and reorganizing it. Um, I think we're going to do that coming up. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise not, uh, we'll see you in our next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll put a list of the colors we used for the painting down below. And aside from that, you guys have a lovely day.